Hi everybody, I'm Jean Lesage of Lesage Arts Management. I'm an arts consultant with a focus on HR and organizational development. This Friday, I invite you to a working study session organized by Mass Culture that is about the future, the future of arts work. Well, future, but it's about the now. But it's not the now now, but about the now as how it relates to the future. But thinking about now and the future of now. And sourdough. It's going to maybe be about sourdough, just to get you maybe excited. Uh, so what the heck am I talking about, as usual? So I have partnered with Mass Culture on a larger research project about the future of arts work, which was looking at what's the best approach for Canadian arts organizations to structure the human systems and the people strategies to respond to the digital age. So that was our initial thing. And then COVID happened. So our arts works places changed overnight. Many of us are still in the midst of the immediate crisis response and we're busy keeping the sector, our artists and our arts organizations whole as we emerge from this pandemic. Many of us are knee deep in that crisis response and you are all amazing, fierce warriors for doing this good work. But right now in this session, I invite you to step out of that current crisis and let's really think about that future down the road when we emerge from all of this. As a sector, we have been grappling for years and years with responding to changes in our environment. Digital disruption, arts worker precarity, changing economic models, changing audience behaviors, lack of arts education. And we've been responding to these disruptions to varying degrees of speed and success. But with COVID, there's been no runway. We have to think about how we revisit our work in the future. So now what? How do we work in a post-COVID reality? This Friday is a chance to hear from you, to hear from me, and to hear some notes from the field about what the future of arts work can be. And to be really clear, this is not about how we create our art and our programs. There's lots of really great thinkers talking about that. But this is about the business that supports and puts that art and programming into the world. So it's our organizational structures, it's our individual jobs, internal communication, decision making structures, work structures, those kinds of really exciting things, organizational development, how we work. I want us to examine what we were forced to change overnight and then really talk about what can and should change in the future. See, it's the now, the future. See what I did there? So how are we gonna do that? So one, two, three, one, I wanna hear from you in advance. How did you and your organization or your group or your collective pivot when COVID happened? How did you make the change overnight to be a virtual workforce? I've created a very fast Google form to ask you for your stories. What did you change? What were the challenges with those changes? What do you miss? But actually what's better now? I will start the session sharing some of these research frameworks that I've been looking at and from what I've heard from you. So this is the now. Then some notes from the field, two notes from the field. I'm gonna have a conversation with the lovely people of Why Not Theater. Kelly Reed, Always Like Walla, and Revy Jane. While they had to make some changes in how they work in advance of COVID, and they did this prior to all of this happening, this is now still looking at bringing up some more core questions that they are having as an organization. And they've agreed to come forward to have the conversation openly with all of us. Three, then we're gonna create some working groups and you're gonna dig into talking about these future work scenarios. And I want us to kind of really go to the far reaches. So some bigger questions. So what are the leadership models that match these new realities? With the light and fast rate of change, how should decisions be made? What if we never work in offices again? What does space in the business of the arts work, what does it need to be? Can work be virtual and what does that mean? What does the future arts worker look like? What does a future arts job look like? Will there be full-time jobs? Will there be job titles? Will there be job descriptions? I want us to think big. So one, two, three. So register to come to the session. It's this Friday, May 29th from 1 p.m. EST. And then I want you to go onto the Google form and tell us your story. Whether or not you come to the session, tell us your story. This is just the beginning of this larger research project and we would be really thrilled to have you there. So now, future, now, sourdough. See you Friday, bye.